Vulture Voice. Hi, my name is Andrea, and I work at the Burbank Public Library in our lifelong learning discipline. Our library is committed to helping all participate as fully as possible in the life of our community. One of the greatest areas to do that is to vote. California, more than most states, has a very mobile population, so it's good to check that your registration is current and correct. It's easy to do online, and I'm going to walk you through it now. If you don't have a computer, don't worry. Each of our libraries has a mail-in form that you can schedule to pick up if you need to register or change your information. First, who can vote? To vote in California, you must be a United States citizen and a resident of California. 18 years or, old or older on Election Day. This means you can register when you're still 16 or 17, but be aware it'll do so based on the information you submit. So if you move, be sure to change your information. Not currently in state or federal prison or on parole for conviction of a felony. Not currently found mentally incompetent to vote by a court. If you're not sure if these apply to you, you can go to these areas to get more information. Please do not use the following online form to register or re-register to vote if you are involved in a confidential address program such as Safe at Home. If sharing your address could put you in life-threatening and danger, you may be eligible to register to vote confidentially. For more information, contact the Safe at Home program. If you are going to register to vote online, the deadline is Monday, October 19th. As long as you register or correct your mailing information by Monday, October 19th, you will automatically receive a mail-in ballot this year. Go to your computer browser and type in one word, register to vote dot ca dot gov. The great thing about doing this online is you can now choose what language to use going forward. If you or the person you are helping would be more comfortable in not using English, the state will let you switch to any of these. Click on the action you need to do. I'm going to click on click Check Your Registration Status. Before you do any of them, you want to have at hand your California driver's license number or ID number, as well as the last four numbers of your Social Security. Simply fill out the boxes with your information and hit Next. Not only should your current name, voter status, language preference, party affiliation, if any, and where you're registered to vote show up, it will also show if you're listed as a vote-by-mail voter. I love the feature on this page which will let me sign up for ballot tracking. Don't forget, you can drop your ballot off in a secure box at the Buena Vista Library. If you're looking for another spot in Los Angeles to drop off your ballot, the Los Angeles County Register's Office online has a list of all the places that are currently available. Before you drop off your ballot, be sure you have placed your ballot inside the official return envelope, securely seal the envelope, sign and date the back of the official return envelope. This is very important as failure to do these steps is the major reason some mail-in ballots get disqualified. If you still prefer to vote in person or don't have an address where you can receive a mail-in ballot, not to worry. Los Angeles County is working on giving us more than one day to vote in person, and any place you can physically vote, you can also securely drop your ballot off. If you wish to drop it off at a polling place, you don't have to wait in line. Thank you so much for listening today, and I do hope that you will vote your voice along with the rest of your citizens.